All right, thank you very much for clicking on the video. This is Girl Pain back with another Games with Dogs or Game with Dog or Games with Dog. So this one is called Dead to Rights and uh, the dog in this is called Shadow. So it's a really nice dog. And um, you're um, a police officer uh, called Jack Slate. And there's a few different um, Dead to Rights games. And um, I actually thought this was a first person shooter when I um, encountered the first, but it's not, it's a, it's a third person game. Uh, well, the PSP one is anyway, and the um, Xbox 360 one is a third-person one as well. So, in the PSP version, um, which I got recently, the um, the dog is not with you. It's sort of like a kind of a special attack or a magic. So, you have to wait for the the um, the meter on the left there to build up, and then you press a button, and then basically the dog, you send the dog to sort of attack um, whichever enemy you're um, locked onto, and it just sort of kills them straight away. So, it's this one's an arena shooter where you just basically you shoot everyone in the specific zone and then you move to the next zone yeah so it does it says loading please wait while the dog viciously mauls whatever criminal you're um you come into contact with there the other versions of dead to rights there's one on the playstation 2 i think the playstation 2 one is on the xbox as well and there's one on the xbox 360 playstation 3 so this is the um the trailer for the playstation uh 2 version here so basically it's a kind of a police story where you take control of the the main the main police character the dog is the dog is kind of useful in it but i don't know i don't know if i agree with like the way they the way they've trained the dog to like attack and viciously kill people i don't think that should be the way that um we should treat our our um canine friends but i understand it's a video game and the, you know the dog is sort of a gimmick in it so i can see why they did that but i still don't agree with it but um yeah so this one i don't know i think i prefer the um the way they um, portray sort of like games with dogs uh, in other video games. I, I know in the 16-bit versions they had like, well, the dog in this one is quite smart, so that's good. And he does he does seem to offer some um, comic relief as well. But um, yeah, I know the it's not as extreme um, when animals, when your companion animal attacks uh, enemy forces in, in the 16-bit games or the 8-bit games because it's not really, you know, it doesn't really look like real life. But then when you make it like real life like this, it's like, I don't think we should be portraying you know, dogs as like vicious killers um, as they are portrayed in this game. But anyway, the dog is with, is, you know, it's your helper character and the, the enemy characters are, are portrayed as like bad guys. So I guess it's okay, but I don't know. I, um, I much prefer the, um, the portrayal of dogs in like, I know in Fallout 4, I don't know why I seem to accept it in Fallout 4. It's probably because the dog in Fallout 4... Um, you're doing so much walking and i know the dog does help you in combat as well and so does the the other characters but you do so much walking around that it seems like the dog is sort of your companion in fallout 4 as opposed to being like a weapon or a i don't know like in this it's a kind of a special attack the um the xbox 360 version has has the dog beside you um when you're well according to the, the trailer i have here um according to or the um yeah the dog is with you in combat but i don't think the dog can actually be damaged um, which is good because I wouldn't like to see that. Uh, the other kind of games with dogs as well, like Shadow Dancer, you do send the dog after the enemies, and um, it, when it gets it, when the dog gets attacked, it becomes a puppy. But because of the sort of cartoony nature of it, it's not really. I don't know. It just doesn't seem as um. It's difficult to explain here. It doesn't seem as bad or as wrong, um, in those games because they're like they're very unrealistic. Whereas these games are very very realistic. But I suppose it's all. You know, whatever. It's all like that. The portrayal of the dog in... The best portrayal of games with dogs so far is not this one. Um, It's the one, uh, the Blair Witch Project, I think. Because that one, the dog is sort of your support animal and it really, like, helps you when you need the dog um, bullet to go around, uh, to traverse the um the area. This one, I don't know, the Dead to Rights, it seems more like the dog is a sort of a gimmick or a special attack. Um as opposed to kind of intricate to the story or intricate to the the um the kind of gameplay but i suppose he is like he is like the canine unit and the dog shadow is very important and it is a very good dog as well so that's another uh, game game with dogs the more i the more I explore games with dogs the more i don't like the usage of dogs in games i prefer if they're just like pets and stuff or if they're um you know kind of helper dogs as opposed to like attack dogs but um anyway so that's another games with games with dog and uh, thanks for joining me and i'll see you in the next video adios